What's up, everybody? Hope you guys are having a sweet day. I'm Biscuit Dog, and we're back in RimWorld. At the end of the last episode, this guy Jude crash-landed right, right outside of Blackrock. There's still some of the wreckage from his craft. <laughs> so he crash-landed right outside, and uh, we picked him up and put him in a hospital bed. But I don't want him to run away. I want him to be one of our party, one of us. So I put him in a prison cell. <laughs> that doesn't make much sense, I know. But uh, if he runs away, we're never going to get him. If we have him in a prison cell, we can try to recruit him. And he's got a pretty good recruitment chance. We've tried once already, and I think it's 19%. So it shouldn't take too long for this guy to get on our side. Then we're going to have four people and things are going to be looking up, you guys. So we're still researching Vitals Monitor and it's going pretty slowly, but Grandma's working on it. We're over halfway now. That's something. Uh, we've built the Intergalactic Trading Beacon or whatever it's called. Orbital Trade Beacon. Uh, it's not hooked up to the power yet, so we're going to have to sort that out. Uh, we, finished all the, we finished all the sandbags outside, so things are going pretty well. The heel root crop looks like it's doing really, really well. We're going to have... We're gonna have herbal medicine up the wazoo in no time, you guys. That's gonna be great. Oh, a little medicine stockpile will really, really take the stress off. It's really, really tough to survive out here without any medicine. Are you going to tend to the prisoner? It seems like it. Okay. What are you doing, Orange? Are you cooking? Or are you just gonna go eat potatoes? Is the dog sick? Malnutrition extreme? Why? What about you? Alcohol tolerance large and liver cirrhosis. This dog, man. What the hell? No injuries. Okay, what's wrong with you? Are you old? Age one. No. What have we got? New recruit? Yeah! Okay, that takes a load off. Hey, Jude. Mad animal? No! <laughs> that puts the load back on. What mad animal? Oh, hopefully the traps take care of this freaking thing. Okay, I'm not taking any chances. You. Draft. Get back here, okay. Orange. Draft. Um. You come stand here. Grandma, you've drafted. Stage coach, draft. Put him here. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's looking crazy. Watch out, dog. The trap didn't work on it. Damn it. Can we... <laughs> yes. I like this turret. Come on. Don't mess with Grandma. Don't mess with Grandma. Grandma, get out of here, Grandma. Oh. That sucked. Oh no, oh no. Operations, add bill. What are we gonna do? Mm, panoxycycline? Just in case? Grandma, rest until healed. What is wrong with you? Okay. Oh, get in there. One of you guys has gotta help her. Are you, are you busted up too? No, you're not really busted up. Pepe is no longer incapable of walking. Who the hell is Pepe? It's one of these damn Yorkies in it. Stupid Pepe. I didn't even know you couldn't walk. Oh, it was a bloodbath again. No, no, no. Melee attack Gazelle to death. That's one thing done. Prioritize... Okay, prioritize tending to Grandma Dot. Alright. Oh, we can't lose Grandma. Please, Grandma. Please don't die on us. Don't die on us. Liver, gunshot, heavy SMG. Somebody shot her in the back. Oh, we gotta be so careful with that. It's terrible. You kill that damn thing. You kill it now. I've gotta remember that. That's pretty much all us. I mean, she does have some gazelle wounds, but mostly it's us. Gunshot, bruise. Okay, the gazelle bruised her. The gazelle cracked her front leg. But all the gunshots, man. Oh, that's really, really not smart. Really not smart. Okay, I've learned my lesson. We're not going to do it like that in future. You. Hold the gazelle, please. We need kibble. It's a never-ending kibble story. Oh, we just got Jude and we're, <laughs> we're going to lose Grandma. Please, Grandma, please survive. We need you. We really need you.
You can do it. You can do it. Ugh, tragic. These wild animals drive me crazy. That's one gazelle, man. And it's like, one gazelle versus four people with guns. <laughs> and the gazelle almost won. It's tragic. Alright, not too bad. Who's got the minor break risk? Stagecoach? Dude, you've got work to do. I'm sorry. You've just got to fix Grandma. That's the way it is. You. What are you wearing? Uh, synth red jacket and cloth tribal wear. I don't know that that's the best stuff. What do we have in here? Elephant skin duster? Awful. Elephant skin duster? Normal. Unfinished dromedary leather duster? Damn it. There's lots of stuff to be done here, man. And very little people to do it. Synth red t-shirt? Normal. Uh, let's see if Jude wants to wear this. What is this stuff? Hyperweave. Ah, we've got some hyperweave. I don't think we can use it for anything yet, but it's super cool. Same as plasteel. Yeah, we gotta keep we gotta keep a lot of this stuff. We gotta get as much of the stuff as we can, because we're gonna need it. I'm pretty sure. Go put on a nice duster, dude. Isn't there a hat for you or something? Fine, wonderful. Is that better? Are you happier? Wearing worn out apparel, feeling bad, disturbed sleep, hungry, in a moderate amount of pain. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to make one of these beds yours, Jude, my friend. All of these, ah, uh, lucky Jude. Lucky Jude gets the double bed. That should be a good, that's a, that's like a, that's like a sign of good wool, surely? The new guy gets the big bed? Come on, sir. Ooh. Item stash opportunity. What's going on now? Melee neuro trainer, mining neuro trainer, shooting neuro trainer, artistic neuro trainer. Woo. Hmm. There's a lot of good stuff there. It won't last. Others will take the items in 10 days if we don't. 459 silver. I don't think we can even afford that inflammation. That's tragic. All right, we'll skip that for now. We don't have enough human resources to let two people out to go find the stash anyway. What are you doing? Repairing, good man. You're a good man and thorough. No, no. Oh, I've got to bar these huskies from love. Look, look. Oh, little ones. And look, no kibble. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, it's a crying shame. That's one good thing about the Mad Gazelle. At least now we've got some more kibble meats. But everybody's waiting for food. Look at this. Ugh, they're all going to start getting hungry. Eat your food. You need to make more food. It's all about the food. <laughs> Come on, stagecoach. is making joints, but I kind of feel like we should be making more beer. I think you should make some beer, Orange. This is all empty, isn't it? That's all empty. We need to make wart. Bills, make wart. Do that. You. Oh, he can't cook? Oh well. We'll let him roll joints for now. There must be something more useful he could be doing. He should be mining, most probably. Alright, stagecoach, what do you want? Oh, man. Need to get that done as soon as possible. Oh, how many of these things do we have now? Whew. Yorkshire Terrier. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's way too many. How many huskies? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, six huskies, ten Yorkshire Terriers, two alpacas, and an ostrich. <laughs> That's quite a collection. Stop making babies, damn you. Oh my god. Look, pregnant again. Uh, these things. These things are terrible.
Good. Make kibble. We need it right now. You're doing nothing. I think we should have you on here. I'm not assigned to cooking. Okay, let's let's sort this guy out. Okay. Cooking. Can he cook? Yeah, let's make him cook. Just for now. Come on, Jude. You do that. You're just chilling, doing nothing. Useless. Where are you going? Feeding Grandma, that's good. How are you doing, Grandma? Please don't have an infection. Please? Uh, it looks like we're good for now. Clean the blood, man. It's filthy around here. These are sterile tiles, but still. I thought them being sterile tiles, they wouldn't get dirty like this, but I guess I'm wrong. Clean this too. Come on, homie. This place is a mess. Clean this too. Yeah, just keep going. Just keep going. Oh, looking better already. I don't want anyone to get a disease from the place being too dirty. I'm sure that could happen. <laughs> I don't want to test it out though, you guys. <laughs> Yes, good. Making wort. You. Fill the fermenting barrel. Let's get this party started. How's the heel root coming? Nothing eat the heel root. 75. What are most of them looking like? 26. We've still got a while to go before we get some medicine. This is not a very practical workflow, now that I look at it. He has to take the smoke leaf, come to the place you make joints, and then transfer each single joint all the way over here. That's really not practical. We should probably make the place that you can make joints in that little corner over there, or here in, in the passageway. That would be much more practical. Uh, then we could do like a little tiny joint storage place. And let him stockpile a bit, and then let him take like 20 at a time. That might be a m much better idea. This is gonna take forever. At least he's making them, and at least now we've got some beer on the go. That's something. 20 to 25 wart. We need way more wart. Man, the farms are being neglected while, while Dot's sick. She doesn't look like she's getting any infections, though, so I'm quite happy about that. Yes, things are starting to go well for her. Heavy SMG gunshot times two in the torso. And she's just gonna walk it off. She's amazing, you guys. <laughs> Grandma Dot's been through a lot, man. Major break risk. Jude. And stagecoach. What's stagecoach doing? What are you up to, pal? Why don't you eat something? Hmm? Let's unforbid that. Why don't you consume a fine meal? It'll make you feel better. You, you do the same thing. Man, I'm, I'm really putting stuff on the line for old Jude. He's really unhappy, and he just got here. We saved his life. Maybe he was trying to die. Maybe we ruined his, his suicide attempt. <laughs> Maybe he was just trying to kamikaze his ship into the ground, and he picked the wrong mountain. I don't know. He doesn't seem very happy at all, though. There's just too much to do around here with three people, even four people. There's too much to do. We need new clothes. Oh, we need to go hunting, we need meat, we need food, we need to farm. Joints and beer need to be rolled and made. So much stuff needs to get done. It's impossible to even think of going on a caravan uh, with this many people, because there's just too much work to do. At least now we've cleaned up a little bit of the place. I think uh, in between episodes I'm going to clean this place. Spring cleaning time, because it's filthy. Look at all this stuff, it's terrible. Oh, suck it up, Jude. I'm sick and tired of your minor break risk. Get back to work. No one wants to hear it. Nobody wants to hear it. Get in, Orange. We need more beer, dude. This 
is going to take nine days. That's going to take a long time. Oh, I'm so glad. It looks like we're not going to lose Grandma Dot. I mean, she might still get an infection, but it doesn't look like she's going to. I'm super happy about that. Who's exhausted? Alright, dude. Well, why not? Let's go to Z. Yeah, why not go to bed? Come on, Jude. Take a load off, man. Go play some pool or something. <laughs> he just got here and we're working him hard. We've got to, though. There's no other choice. Why are you still... It's very, very strange that they decide to sleep in the hospital bed sometimes. I guess he's just feeling down. Oh, well. What are you going to do? At least he's one of us. <laughs> and uh, as long as he doesn't die, I don't really care. <laughs> as long as he doesn't die or go crazy and starts setting fires or shooting people, I don't really mind. No one's done that for a while. I probably shouldn't say anything about that just in case all hell breaks loose. Anyway, okay. Not much happened in this episode, I grant you guys, but at least we got a new guy. We got a new guy and uh, I think we saved Grandma Dot. That's something. I hope to God the traitors come in the next episode. If they don't, it's going to be another tough one, you guys. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it here for today, you guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!